head. Meet Quan, a strapping silverback gorilla at the Lincoln Park Zoo. He's in a training session with keeper Jill Moyes, during which she monitors his health. I was doing a full body inspection, so I asked him for his mouth, I looked in his mouth, made sure his teeth were okay, and I looked over every part of his body for any cuts or um, bite wounds that maybe he had gotten, you know, overnight. The chimps and gorillas here train daily, but Quan is special. He's a potential blood donor for other gorillas, and Moise is training him to give blood voluntarily. Belly. This avoids anesthetizing him during blood draws, which stresses the animal. He puts his arm into a PVC tube, and then I'm able to see part of his arm where his vein is. Zoo researchers spearheaded a global ape blood grouping project, typing the blood and creating a sort of blood bank for great apes. So here, when you get this agglutination, before this study, you literally picked and you hoped that the donor wouldn't cause a reaction. And oftentimes you were doing the test as the, both the animals were sedated and wouldn't, you know, wasn't it a frustrating thing to sit there and go, wow, we just sedated this silverback only to find out that it doesn't, it's not the right match. So again, what we're looking at is trying to kind of streamline those choices. Come on, all the way around. Moise continues to train Quan for blood draws. Together, they've mastered hair removal creams so she can see his vein. He stands there and I feed him periodically and, and then I give him a piece of burlap and he wipes it off and the hair comes off with it and then he trades it back to me with the nair for men on it. So it's a really great system. When he's not training with Moise, Quan plays with his four-year-old son, Amari, and continues his job as the silverback, watching over his family of five at the Lincoln Park Zoo. From Adele News Service, this is Sarah White.